Viola. We've been looking everywhere for you. Are you talking to me? I'm your mammy. Do I look like her daughter? Do I look like I could be her daughter? Ever pondered how Hollywood's portrayal of race and identity has evolved over the years? It's a complex narrative, intertwined with America's own tumultuous history of racial relations. Since the birth of the silver screen, Hollywood has been a mirror, reflecting and often amplifying societal norms and prejudices. In the early days, racial representation was cloaked in stereotypes and caricatures. Non-white characters were often relegated to supporting roles, their stories secondary to those of their white counterparts. But there was a more insidious practice lurking in the shadows of Tinseltown, one that involved the very erasure of racial identity. This was passing. Passing, in the context of Hollywood, referred to the practice of light-skinned African Americans presenting themselves as white to gain access to opportunities denied to them because of their race. It was a survival tactic in a time when segregation was the law of the land and racial prejudice was an everyday reality. The 1930s, a period marked by the Great Depression and the height of Jim Crow, was a particularly challenging time, even as the glitz and glamour of Hollywood offered an escape from the harsh realities of the day, the industry itself was not immune to the societal pressures of the era. The choice to pass was a conundrum faced by many actors of color. Among them was a woman of strength and principle, an actress who, despite possessing the fair complexion that could have allowed her to pass, chose to embrace her racial identity. She was a beacon of resilience and authenticity in an industry that often demanded conformity. Her determination to be true to herself and her heritage, even in the face of adversity, set her apart in an era defined by compromise and concession. Enter Freddie Washington, a trailblazer who dared to challenge Hollywood's norms. Born in 1903, Freddie Washington was destined to shake up the status quo. An authentic pioneer, she was born into a family with a mixed racial heritage, a unique blend of African, European, and Native American ancestry. This beautiful mosaic of cultures, together with her upbringing in Savannah, Georgia, would come to play a profound role in shaping her future. As a young girl, Freddie's world was steeped in the arts. She was a born performer, with a natural talent for dance and drama that was evident from an early age. It was this passion for performance that would eventually lead her to the bright lights of Broadway and, ultimately, the silver screen of Hollywood. Freddie's early life was not without hardship. The loss of her mother at a young age and the subsequent struggles she faced only served to strengthen her resolve. Raised in a multiracial family, she was already breaking barriers before she even stepped foot on a Hollywood set. Freddie Washington's acting journey began in the Harlem Renaissance. It was the Roaring Twenties, a time of cultural, social, and artistic explosion in the African-American community in Harlem, New York. Freddie was right at the heart of it all. She started her career as a dancer in the acclaimed Broadway review, Shuffle Along, and soon transitioned into acting. But her journey was not a typical one. She was a fair-skinned black woman in a time when the color of your skin could define your destiny. Undeterred by the societal norms of the time, Freddie was determined to represent her identity authentically. She refused to pass as white, an option that her skin tone could have easily afforded her. Instead, she chose to embrace her African-American heritage and used her platform to challenge the status quo. She was intent on breaking barriers and shattering stereotypes, and she did just that when she made her move into film. In the early 30s, Freddie began to make a name for herself in Hollywood. She starred in a series of films, each one pushing the boundaries of what was expected of black actresses. However, it was her role in the 1935 film Black and Tan that truly marked her breakout. She played the role of a dying dancer, a part that allowed her to showcase her acting prowess. It was a role that demanded depth, emotion, and authenticity, and Freddie delivered it all in spades. Her performance was raw, it was real, and it was a direct reflection of her own experiences as a black woman in America. It was a part that was written for a black actress, and Freddie, with her unwavering commitment to authenticity, refused to let it be whitewashed. With her role in Black and Tan, Freddie Washington made it clear that she was here to represent her true self. And in doing so, she paved the way for future generations of black actresses to do the same. In 1934, Freddie Washington starred in Imitation of Life, a role that would define her career. She portrayed Paola, a young black woman who attempts to pass as white to escape the racial discrimination of her time. 
The film was a commercial success, but it was also a lightning rod for controversy. Imitation of Life brought the difficult conversation of racial identity to the forefront of American cinema. It was a bold and daring move, especially for a Hollywood that was still deeply segregated. The role of Paola was a reflection of Freddie's own life, a fair-skinned black woman navigating a society where the color of her skin was a subject of scrutiny and prejudice. The controversy surrounding the film made Freddie a target. Critics accused her of wanting to pass in real life, just like her character in the film. But instead of shrinking away, Freddie used the attention to shine a light on the real issues of racial discrimination in America. She became a vocal advocate for black actors and actresses in Hollywood. She criticized the industry's lack of opportunities for black performers and its frequent typecasting of black characters. She pushed for more nuanced, realistic portrayals of black people on screen. Freddie's role in Imitation of Life was more than just a career-defining performance. It was a platform, a platform that she used to challenge the status quo and to speak out against the injustices faced by people of color. Paola's struggle to accept her racial identity in Imitation of Life mirrored Freddie's own journey. But while Paola chose to deny her heritage, Freddie chose to embrace hers. She refused to pass, choosing instead to proudly proclaim her identity as a black woman in a time when doing so was a radical act. Despite the backlash, Imitation of Life made Freddie Washington a household name and an advocate for racial equality. She became a symbol of resistance, a beacon of hope for others struggling with their identity in a society that was yet to fully accept them. After Imitation of Life, Freddie Washington chose to leave Hollywood, but her impact was far from over. In the wake of her success, Freddie made the bold decision to step away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. She had made her mark, and she knew it. But Freddie was not one to rest on her laurels, nor was she one to shy away from a fight. She took her fight to a new front, one that needed her voice and her courage just as much as Hollywood did, the world of activism. Freddie became an active participant in the civil rights movement, using her platform to fight against racial discrimination. She served as an entertainment editor for The People's Voice, an African-American weekly run by her brother-in-law, Adam Clayton Powell Jr. She used her position to speak out against the injustices she saw and experienced, never once trying to hide or deny her African-American roots. In fact, she embraced them. She was a proud black woman who refused to pass in a society that would have given her an easier time if she had. But Freddie was not interested in the easy path. She was interested in the right path, and for her, that meant standing up for her race and her community. Freddie's legacy in Hollywood is undeniable. She was a trailblazer, a pioneer who paved the way for future black actresses. She showed them that they could be proud of their heritage, that they didn't have to hide or pretend to be something they weren't. She set a precedent for authenticity and courage in a world that often lacked both. But Freddie's legacy extends far beyond Hollywood. She was a fighter, an activist, a woman who used her voice and her platform to fight for change. She stood up for what she believed in, even when it wasn't easy, even when it wasn't popular. She was a true hero, in every sense of the word. Freddie Washington may have left Hollywood, but her legacy continues to inspire and challenge us today. Freddie Washington's legacy is a testament to the power of authenticity. A beacon of resilience and pride in a time of rampant prejudice, her refusal to deny her African-American heritage sent ripples through the film industry. She confronted Hollywood's racial bias head-on, and in doing so, incited a conversation around race and identity that still reverberates today. Her influence transcends the boundaries of time, echoing in the courageous performances of actors who proudly wear their identities on the silver screen. Even in the face of adversity, she chose authenticity over convenience, a decision that continues to inspire countless individuals in the industry. Today, her indomitable spirit lives on. Artists of every race and creed are breaking barriers, challenging stereotypes and rewriting narratives, just as Freddie did. Because of her, they know they can be true to themselves and still shine brightly. Freddie Washington, a trailblazer who is unapologetically herself, forever changed the face of Hollywood, proving that authenticity always leaves a lasting legacy.